Today we're going to look at sweet picking Paul Gilbert's Get Out of My Yard. Paul Gilbert uses a technique like string skipping or he has a human capo or he's in some kind of different tuning. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm going to show you how to sweet pick it. Let's roll the clip. Okay, as you can see, this is really, really difficult, so um, let's get straight to it. Okay, so this starts in the key of C minor, so it's gonna be a C minor arpeggio, descending from the uh, 15th fret on the high E string. With a pull off or a pick, you can go down, up on the 11th fret, so it's gonna go like this. Down, up, now on the B string, uh, 13th fret, 12th fret G string, 13th fret D string, 15th fret uh, A string, and a 10th fret um, A string. So this is the first part. Then you ascend back. So it'll be like this. So that's the first part, and then it goes into a, a little A flat major arpeggio. So it goes like this. So this is section one slow. Okay, section two starts with a little E flat major arpeggio. Which then goes into a B flat major arpeggio. So this is what we got so far. Okay, section three starts with another little A flat major arpeggio, but just in a different position. So it's gonna be like this. But when you go to the next, uh, when you do, you do that twice. So the next time though, you just, instead of playing the uh, 11th fret right here, you play the 10th fret. So it's gonna be like this. And then this is where the cool sounding arpeggio comes. It's sort of like an augmented type of arpeggio. It's like this. Okay, moving on to section four. It's basically just a, an F minor arpeggio. It's basically kind of a variation of how we started it. So it's gonna be like this, starting at the uh, 20th fret. And it resolves into a D-flat major arpeggio starting at the 21st fret. And by the way, you can actually do a pick, pick kind of thing. So down, up, or a down, pull off, or 
up pull off, whatever you do, whatever your technique is. I do a down up actually more often than a pull off. When I do an ascending version though, sometimes I use a pull off. It just depends on the situation, I guess. But uh, yeah, it goes like this. So this is what we got. Okay, section five starts with a little descending uh, A flat major arpeggio again. So it's just gonna be uh, at the 20th fret. Then the uh, 16th, so it's like this. Which resolves into another E flat major arpeggio. You're gonna realize basically these are all the same shapes, just in different variations, so it's not too bad. Okay, section six starts with some tasty little diminished seventh arpeggio, starting at the 17th fret. Which resolves into a tasty little E flat major sus4 arpeggio, which is like this. End it now with section seven, which is a uh, kind of a tasty little augmented arpeggio. So the ending lick is basically just a hammer on and pull off, or let me think. Yeah, hammer on and pull off from the 20th fret and then you just like bend the string up with your finger here just to raise the pitch a little bit and basically ends with a low E. Now I'm gonna play the entire sequence played at a slow tempo. Something along the lines of that. Well, that was a note for note lesson on get out of my yard with sweet picking. I also never realized how hard it is to play at a slow tempo, but I sure do realize how hard it is to play at full speed, man. That's just super difficult. But nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.